Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today I'm gonna show you how to make three potato bites. Today I'm making a little tree using Satsumaimo Japanese sweet potato. It's very easy but irresistible. So if you have big oven, you may want to double the batch. Okay, let's get started. Need what you need. Satsumaimo Japanese sweet potato. It's about 400 grams. One egg, 30 gram each of butter, heavy cream and sugar. Let's peel and cut the sweet potato. Cut both ends off because it's dried out. And just cut it into small pieces. The size doesn't really matter. Release them in cold water to stop browning. Then drain. You don't need to dry, just drain. Silicon wrap or plastic wrap and microwave until it's nice and soft. I did 5 minutes at 800 watt and it's cooked through. The toothpick can easily go through. Now, everything other than the egg in the food processor. Cook 3 potato. Butter. Sugar and heavy cream. And just mix it well until it's nice and smooth. Very smooth. Let's make it into small balls or cubes. And I'm using this ice cream scoop to standardize the size, but you can use spoons. You can make any shape you like. I'm doing cubes today. Let's put egg yolk in the small bowl. Put one tablespoon of water. And mix it well. And brush it on these. This is 
totally optional, but if you have some black sesame on top for decoration. Let's put it in the oven and bake until it's golden brown. I bake them for 15 minutes at 250 degrees Celsius. And it's nicely burned here and there. You can have it hot or you can have it chilled. Either way you like. I'm having one now because I can't wait. and creamy. The burnt part adds nice toasty flavor and it's delicious. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything.